So I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna show you my I'm gonna show you guys how I put a purchase a purchase a So I purchased this one guys this revolution mascara I tried the blue one I made a short for that and then I also tried this long last lengthening mascara this is the the brush for that and this is for the blue the blue is not really blue blue but it has a very th small brush so it's not blue blue and it makes your <coughs> the your um eyelashes a little um stiff not stiff stiff a little hard but hold on If you're gonna try like a blue eye uh, uh, mascara, eyelash mascara, try the L'Oreal. I really like that one because it doesn't really, it doesn't, it give you, it gives you volume and it doesn't make your hair, the hair of your eyelashes hard or stiff. This Revolution, I really am not impressed. Well, it's just two ninety eight, but. Yeah, I'm not impressed because it makes my eyelashes hard and then stiff and then sometimes it's clumpy. So I don't like when but it doesn't give me any um panda bear looks though. It doesn't smudge. This and the blue one doesn't smudge, you see. You see that? So I tried this yesterday, the whole day, it didn't smudge, despite I have a, a Vani Cream sunscreen under my eye, it usually smudge, it's mostly of my, um, mostly of my eye, uh, mascara smudge, but this one, no, it didn't smudge, the problem is that if you double, double apply it, Sometimes it turns clumpy. There. Maybe you can just use this everyday look because if you buy L'Oreal every day and then you use it every day, it's kind of expensive. Okay, let's see on the other side. I don't use the curler because sometimes it pulls a lot of my eyelashes and then. I only have very thin, um, there you go, you see that clumping there? Yeah, that's what happens all the time. So whenever I use a curler, you just pull a lot of the hair. And I only have very thin and short eyelashes. There, see? I'll give a little bit minutes and then but for three dollars it's just fine but not impressive though it's not but it's not gonna give you like a smooth unlike L'Oreal gives you smooth finish this one no it clump it's kind of dry when it's already there and then there I like it this the it really get gives me the lengthening that's very true though because you can see my eye eyelashes there it's just kind of dry that's the only problem with this. It's dry and then it makes your 
it makes your eyelashes stiff and then it doesn't smudge though for three dollars I bought it from um, Walmart at Walmart for $2.98 to be exact the blue one is just the same it gives you clump gives you kind of hard not hard hard but it's kind of hard and then it's it's um it's clumpy too clumpy doesn't smudge the only problem with this is it's just makes your eyelashes stiff and hard so if you're gonna buy the blue blue mascara just purchase the one from L'Oreal it's really good it gives you volume it, it gives you it doesn't clump it doesn't get hard and doesn't smudge it's easy to remove when you're like using eye eye do you call that um If you gotta use um, eye mascara removal, the L'Oreal L'Oreal you can just wash it off from the water, even though without using any um, eyelashes re makeup remover. But this one you really have to use a eye makeup remover because it, it stays there and then it takes time to remove it from the water. And then if you sleep on your mascara get drunk or lazy and then you make it stay for 24 hours then tomorrow it's, it's really gonna give you a hard time to wash it off even though you use an eye makeup remover unless you're gonna purchase a very good eye makeup remover but if you're just using a cheap ones then it's gonna give you a hard time there you go guys if you enjoyed this video kind of like comment and subscribe and don't forget to share 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 thank you but uh, wait a minute i'm just gonna put my this is what i use for my blush i'm finishing this i didn't really give you a... i'm gonna put it on my lips too how about if i use a brush for this what do you think guys because I just use my finger and then it gives redness on my finger. Let's see if I use brush for this. I keep my brushes in a bag because you know I don't wash it often because I don't use it often. But if you don't use it and then you also, um, let's try this. And then you use it for your skin. Oh no. You just have to use your finger, I guess. Gives you this black, red, black. <laughs> Let's see. It's removing my sunscreen. Oops, it's a wrong choice. I'm gonna work, girl.